turn over the money chambers. Come on here and tell that person that yo, this house, this house shall be a house of prayer. And we'll see God start moving again. Oh, yes. yes. We'll see the hand of God moving once we clean up the camp, once we get the sin out of us. Yes. 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 My God, my God. Yes. You got sin all in the I am, I'm just talking in the body of Christ. You got sin all in the pulpit. You got sin walking with rolls on. You got sin walking with a briefcase. You got sin walking with the mic. You got sin on praise team. You got sin in the choir. You got sin in the music department. You got sin in the uh, daycare. You got sin in the kitchen workers. You just got sin, 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 sin. But somebody need to sin for Jesus. We need to go back crown out. Holiness. Holiness is right. There is no other way. No other way. He told us as leaders. I'm talking to the leaders tonight. He told us as leaders. He said he's going to hold us responsible. You got to give me the cop. For what I've told you to tell the people. My God, my God. Moses. Mm. Moses. Oh, we all know the story of Moses and what Moses was done, what Moses did. Moses obeyed the people, then he didn't obey God. Amen. Moses was told to do some things, and Moses did not do it. He did against what, what God said in the Father. Right. Moses was supposed to. But Moses did the opposite. He <laughs> Dad, go again. All you got to do is speak the word. Amen. And it will happen. Amen. It believe us. If we do what God said to you, that's why I say, Pastor, you keep doing what God showed you. Keep doing it. Pastor, keep doing it. And you go seek God. Amen. Go seek God. That's when we begin to do what God has instructed us to do as leaders, as pastors. I told God, I, I asked God when God called me to the, the uh, apostleship and, and, and anointed me as, as an apostle and a pastor. And, and when, he, when I got the salutation from him, I laid on prostrate on the floor. And God began to deal with me, pastor. He said, you're never to say your people. He said, because you have no people. He told me, he said, I will fight for my people. He said, I will kill for my people. He said, you're never going to touch my people. He said, they're my people. He said, you tell my people what I tell you to tell my people. And if I don't tell you to tell my people, that you say nothing. Amen. And that's how a lot of leaders have got in trouble because they have not told God people what he, God have told him to tell their people, his people. Mm -hmm. They're telling what they want to tell them. Mm -hmm. they, I know a lot of people say, well, me and my people will be there. No, I say me and God's people will be there by the help of God. Because yeah. if me and my people will be here, some of them won't come anyhow. They ain't going to hear God, but they ain't going to hear me. Now say it again. Why well, they ain't trying to hear God? So they don't talk about my people. Why? Well, what? 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 Why was somebody about me saying my people? No, no, no. I ain't saying my people. God's people. Oh, except the Lord build a house. They labor in vain, and they that. My God. Mother, I'm so glad, Pastor. Pastor, I'm so glad God is not like men. My God, my God, my God. Pastor, I'm so happy to know that the God I serve. So true. People are shooting you down. People 
people to wall up on you. People to stuff on you. People to lie on you. People to tell, make up stuff about you. That ain't even the truth. But all they don't know, all they're doing is giving you exposure. Because he said, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called. This is working for the good. This is working for your good. We talked about that the other night. This is what you're in right now is working for your good. That God get the glory. When the leaders get it right and become married, I became married to the power of faith healing in the Lincoln's temple. That became my bride because this is of God. When you get married to the church, you are not so easy to be ruled by every wave, wind, and doctrine that comes along. Nobody come in here, even with me, can nobody, no apostle, I mean possum, can no uh, evangelist, uh, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Hmm. Can't now another rattlesnake, I mean, a uh, pastor. Glory, glory. Can't now another buzzard, a teacher, come in here and out teach or preach the leaders in the house. They are always supposed to confirm. That's well, already been in the house. Yes. And I'm going to tell y'all, I don't been some places and ministers and preach. It's been so hard, I had to get up and, and really go into warfare before I could come. Yes. But I walk right, I walk right into the line of easy. That's why it's easy for me to flow in here. That's why it's easy for me to flow at, at Pastor Texas. In the different places, but every place I've gone, I, I have to go in. Break down, tear down, then come back and preach it. But the atmosphere is right for miracles. The atmosphere is right for deliverance. The atmosphere is right on your road. But there's someone coming on and touch you. You know why? Because the bride is right in the house. You know why? Because the bride knows the groom. Come on here. And the groom knows the bride.